The world is full of inventions, innovations, and new ideas. Scientists have never fallen asleep or lost a guard in inventing and discovering new ways to do a thing or to make life better. In 1895, Wilhelm Röntgen, a physics professor in Würzburg, Bavaria, made the discovery of X-rays while attempting to determine whether cathode rays could pass through glass. Through testing, he discovered that the intriguing light would pass through the majority of materials while casting shadows on solid objects. He referred to the rays as X-rays. Röntgen discovered quickly that X-rays would also penetrate human tissue, making the bones and tissue below visible. Rudolf Diesel was a German inventor and mechanical engineer best known for developing the diesel engine, which uses diesel fuel, both of which are named after him. The first successful diesel engine, motor 25400s, was officially tested in 1897 and is now on display at the German Technical Museum in Munich. Meanwhile, this came after many years of testing and building the engine because of its ruggedness. Julius Robert Oppenheimer's invention of all time is the atomic bomb. He was a theoretical physicist from America and also a physics professor at the University of California, Berkeley. Julius was the wartime director of the Los Alamos Laboratory during World War and is widely regarded as the father of the atomic bomb for his role in the Manhattan Project, which developed the first nuclear weapons during World War II. Bartolomeo Cristofori is a famous Italian maker of musical instruments, mastercraft, musician, and inventor who made the piano which was constructed in the 1700s. Cristofori's piano from the 1720s had almost all of the features of the modern instrument. It was unique in that it was made of very light materials and lacked a metal frame, limiting its ability to produce a particularly loud tone. According to records, only three survived till today dating back over 300 years. This invention is one most considered to be impossible, Wilbur and Orville the Wright brothers for inventing one means to travel in the air. With the Wright Flyer too, the Wright brothers developed their flying machine to make longer running and more aerodynamic flights in 1903 to 1905, followed by the Wright Flyer 3, the first truly practical fixed-wing aircraft. The brothers' breakthrough was the development of a three-axis control system, which allowed the pilot to effectively steer the aircraft while maintaining its equilibrium. Sir Timothy Berners-Lee is a computer scientist from England who is best known as the creator of the World Wide Web. On March 12, 1989, Berners-Lee proposed an information management system, and in mid-November, he implemented the first successful communication between a hypertext transfer protocol, HTTP, client and server via the internet. Berners-Lee developed the first web browser. On December 20, 1990, Berners-Lee published the first website. It was accessible via the internet via the CERN network. The automobile industry is one that is among the fastest growing and largest industries in the world. Carl Benz was a German engineer and engine designer who is the father of the automobile industry. His 1885 Benz patent motor car is regarded as the first practical automobile and the first car to be mass produced. In 1886, he received a patent for the motor car. Television is one of the many inventions John Logie Baird transmitted the first long-distance television picture, which traveled over 400 miles and he also invented the 3D television. On January 26, 1926, he created the first color television system that was publicly demonstrated as well as the first practical color television picture tube. The first international air television transmission was made possible by the Baird Television Development Company in 1928. Coming next in this list of famous inventions of all time and their inventors are Alexander Graham Bell, the father and inventor of the telephone. Alexander Graham Bell was a Scottish-born inventor, scientist, and engineer who is credited with patenting the first usable telephone. Bell made his telephone work on March 10, 1876, three days after receiving his patent, by utilizing a liquid transmitter concept that was based on one of his rivals that raced him to get the patent for the telephone named Gray. Martin Cooper is an American engineer. He is a pioneer in the wireless communications industry, particularly in radio spectrum management, holding 11 patents in the field. Motorola engineer Marty Cooper made the first public call from a real handheld portable cell phone at Motorola on April 3, 1973, using the patented technology he and his team revived. Cooper led the team that redeveloped the first handheld cell phone in 1983 and brought it to market. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. Kindly like, subscribe, and follow us on www.rnn.ng.